With this, I would like to show how easy it is to set up MI link between SQL Server and Managed Instance. Here I have SQL Server 2022 on one side and a database, and then on the other side I have MI with no databases on it. Replicating database is simple as selecting the database and using the new MI link feature. I go to replicate the database, and then I follow the steps through the wizard. In this section here, pre-checks are being made to ensure that the environment is compatible to create the link. Then I select a database or databases I wish to replicate from SQL Server to Managed Instance. Then I will be required to log into Azure, but because I've done that already, the wizard is not asking me to do so. Then I just need to select a resource group where my Managed Instances are located. And then from the list of my available managed instances, I need to select the MI I would like to replicate my database to. So once the list shows up, I select the managed instance. I click next. These are some advanced settings because we are using uh, availability groups and distributed availability groups. So here are we are creating the certificates for the security exchange uh, of the link and then we are um, naming the AG and DAG and then uh, selecting the uh, IP address of the SQL server. Uh, all of this is pre-populated so for most users this uh, does not need to be customized. Here are all the steps that we're going to execute. We first exchange some certificate, some security certificates between the environments, and then the database is seeded over from SQL Server to Managed Instance. Let's run this query on the SQL Server side, and then we see that the database has commenced seeding from SQL Server to the MI side. Then if I keep refreshing the Managed Instance side, then I see that the database has shown up in here and if I run this query again then I will see that the seeding has been completed. So what we have done here is we have created a link between SQL Server and managed instance. In the process we have created availability group and distributed availability group and with this I have shown how simple it is uh, to create the ML link between SQL Server and MI. Now let's insert some records on the SQL Server side. Let's start with a new table. Let me insert a couple of records on this side. So I've inserted five records on the SQL Server side. And then on the MI side, when I query the updatability of the replicated database, I can see this is read only. And then I will be able to read the table off. And then I see that the data has been replicated exactly near real time from SQL Server. With this, I have shown how easy it is to set up the link between SQL Server and Managed Instance.